I think it's fair to say that usually in comparing value theories between different schools of thought and economics, uh, Marxist economics is um, understood to subscribe to uh, a labor theory of value, which takes Adam Smith as a point of departure, uh, but that the labor theory of value was then uh, repudiated uh, in the marginalist revolution uh, that is associated with uh, Menger and Jevons and Valras. So the, the thing I'd like to present today is my observation that uh, Friedrich von Hayek appears to subscribe uh, to the labor theory of value. So I'd like to just contrast uh, two quotes. So if we look at Hayek's uh, use of knowledge in society, uh, page uh, 526, he says, assume that somewhere in the world, a new opportunity for the use of some raw material, say tin, has arisen or that one of the sources of supply of tin has been eliminated. It does not matter for our purpose, and it is very significant that it does not matter which of these two causes has made tin more scarce. All that the users of tin need to know is that some of the tin that they use to consume is now more profitably employed elsewhere, and that in consequence, they must economize tin. There is no need for the great majority of them even to know where the urgent need has arisen or in favor of what other needs they ought to husband the supply. The whole acts as one market, not because any of its members survey the whole field, but because their limited individual fields of vision sufficiently overlap so that through many intermediaries, the relevant information is communicated to all the mere fact that there is one price for any commodity, or rather that local prices are connected in a manner determined by the cost of transports, et cetera, brings about the solution which might have been arrived at by one single mind possessing all the information which is in fact dispersed among all the people involved in the process. Okay, so if we want to paraphrase this more succinctly, we would say that uh, the price mechanism is uh, is is the mechanism whereby collaboration uh, happens through society, specifically in terms of the the social division of labor. Do we want more people mining tin or fewer people mining tin? So uh, the price system in a capitalist economy is the mechanism for the allocation of social labor. So now let's look at uh, what Marx says in his letter to Kugelman written on July 11th, 1868. And, and this is commenting on uh, the objection that some people made uh, to capital that he hadn't proven the labor theory of value. He writes, every child knows a nation which ceased to work, I will not say for a year, but even for a few weeks would perish. Every child knows too, that the masses of products corresponding to the different needs required different and quantitatively different masses of the total labor of society. And the form in which this proportional division of labor asserts itself in the state of society where the interconnection of social life is manifested in the private exchange of the individual products of labor is precisely the exchange value of these products. Uh, to me, it's clear that uh, what Marx is saying here is that it is the price system, the exchange value of products, that regulates the social division of labor in a capitalist economy. And that, that is, in fact, what he means by the labor theory of value. Uh, so I conclude that uh, Hayek and Marx both subscribe to the Marxist labor theory of value. <laughs>